there's a lot of people that are marks for Nick Nemeth, Dolph Ziggler. I was never a big fan. I'm still not the biggest fan, but this is what TNA needed at this point in their existence. It's a beautiful looking title. I don't think that Dolph Ziggler is really like a magnetic, larger than life personality, but when he's in the ring, he gets the job done. And he's got the credibility, the name recognition, even though people still think he's Dolph Ziggler. You see him, you're like, oh yeah, that guy. But he, like Mike Bailey, Josh Alexander, um, Jordan Grace, there's a handful of other guys on here. If they were in NXT, they would take over and be the bigger stars in that company. What TNA needs to do and what WWE needs to do is let AJ Styles come in to the build for Bound for Glory. They need to use the Motor City machine guns and the fact that they were such TNA veterans and the faces of the company for like the past two years, basically. They need to build a story with TNA and NXT. Again, Joe Hendry is the most over guy in NXT. I don't even watch NXT. I know that Joe Hendry, the TNA guy, is the most over guy in NXT. But guess what? That's not helping. That's not helping TNA on on Access TV with taped shows. It's just not. But put on a couple live shows at least I said it two a month, but at least one a month. Going in to Bound for Glory, bring in AJ Styles. You've got Kazarian there. Fuck, I don't care. Bring Bobby Roode back in for an angle. Do something to bring the nostalgia back. Because now that they're working with the WWE, the WWE can capitalize off this. Help TNA. And the state that fucking AEW is in, man, they could just wash, they could wash out any appeal for AEW after Wembley. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The only the only thing that's looking up for AEW is is if if Shane McMahon shows up and becomes like part owner or something, gets his own creative control. 